So, all these videos still leave one question unanswered, is how did we get any symbols? Who developed these symbols, who found them out, and how we, can we do it ourselves? Because of course you can grab a book of symbols and read what other people have done with them and say about them, but that's not really helping you to really understand and control the essence of a symbol. The only way to do that is really to see it on its own level, to truly realize and experience what is that symbol. And to do that we need to make a little trance journey. So symbol space is a relatively high vibration and so it's not very easy to reach and many people also can't reach it. Um, it's a process of development. Um, if we start connecting with higher sources of energy and we learn more and more <coughs> about the source and become more and more attuned to the source, our own vibration will also increase and increase so we can get closer and closer to that source of energy and ultimately before we get to the source we will pass through simple space. Um, so it's a lot of a, uh, a lot higher a vibration than talking to, for instance, the spirits of the deceased or power animals or spirit guides. Um, symbols are also um, cross species. Um, so symbols are not simply um, things which only work on humans. They also work on trees, on animals, on um, all beings basically, also on spirits. So you have to, in a way, transcend your own humanity um, to reach symbol space. But it is still within the realm of the, uh, the form cosmos. But let's just give it a try and see if you can join me. So relax your body. Take a relaxed position. Make sure that you're feeling safe and secure. And allow your astral body to separate from your physical body. And allow it to take the energy it needs for its journey. And liberate your astral body from the things which are binding it still to the physical body, like your emotions and your thoughts. So the astral body can float upwards, just like other spirits do. Now also remove all your individuality from it, all your memories, all your knowledge, all your thoughts. Your spirit can simply be a spirit rather than being connected to you in space and time. This free floating spirit can either travel by itself or it can ask to journey with the help of an egregore if you're connected to one. So if you do have an association with an egregore, now enter into the egregore. And otherwise, just try to do it by yourself. And start ridding yourself of all your myriad incarnations and roles you have performed as a human being on this planet or on other planets. And allow all these memories, all these incarnations, all these years to fall away from you. 
peel away this gray layer, this skin. your inner light and become to a difficult spot because you became a human being to fulfill a purpose and it is this purpose which drives you back down which pushes you back into human form it's also this purpose which forces you to incarnate again and again. It may not be possible for all of you to see beyond this driving power. But try to, because there is a part of you which already exists on a higher level. which chose, through its will, to fulfill that purpose, to accept this mission. And see, even if just for a moment, it is willing to discharge you of that duty, so your consciousness may leave the human realm. Good. Now you can start to feel what it is like to be a free spirit. This free spirit exists in a place where also symbols exist. And ultimately our lives, our forms, all of humanity it's just a manifestation of one or more symbols. They create us, we don't create them. These symbols are truly universal. They work the same way in our solar system as they do in others. But the effects may not be appropriate to our place and time. So be aware that even though there are many, many things here in this symbol space, you should not connect with or try to manifest things which are not meant to be in our place and time. First maybe try to find symbols which connect very easily to you. Your energy is now very flexible, so you can even embody, become the symbol. This can be a crucifix, a circle, a pentagram, a Solomon seal, a point, a triangle, or any other shape. Letters of the Sanskrit, alphabet, rune. or Futhark, maybe Hebrew, so 
all these symbols, all these signs, all these sounds are just manifestations of symbols. And try to feel what class of symbols is most attuned to you. Are there more symbols which have a solar energy, lunar energy? Venus or Mars, Jupiter or Saturn, Mercury. So each cosmos has different symbols. Naturally you end up in your own cosmos as a spirit. As a spirit you can also move and have a look, for instance, in a Luciferical cosmos or in an Arimanic cosmos, to see what symbols are used there. And sometimes the shape will be exactly the same. But the power of the symbol, if it is connected to, for instance, the Satanic cosmos, may be completely different from what the power of the symbol would be if it is connected to a divine cosmos or an arimanic cosmos. So the physical manifestation might be the same, but the energy, the power and the meaning can be completely different. Also try to feel how within a cosmos the same form, if this in tune with the solar energy or the lunar or Mars energy also has a very different effect, a very different meaning. So a cross is not just a cross. A cross can be a white cross, a red cross, a white star, a black star. Although the shape is the same, the form is the same, the effect and what it will work upon is very different. If you've come here with a very specific quest, maybe looking for a symbol to heal somebody or to protect somebody, you're working with an egregore, maybe to give a person an initiation into that egregore. Or looking for a key to a certain realm where your consciousness would like to go. Try to find that symbol. And it can very well be that you're starting to get a headache or feel dizzy. Because symbols are not, as we write them, uh, two-dimensional or even three-dimensional. Symbols are multi-dimensional. So our simple minds, which are only used to manipulating things, at most in three or four dimensions, cannot really work with the entirety, with the completeness of a symbol which is often in eight or more dimensions. Also our body, once we're in it, can often also not access the complete power of the symbol, because our body is lacking dimensions to completely draw or manifest that symbol. If you find a symbol and you feel that there's too much missing for it to function, try to see if there is any other spirits, any allies, maybe some deities or enlightened beings, ascended masters, who could help you with that. can help you to complete the symbol so you draw the part which you can draw and they will draw the rest 
the dimensions you cannot reach. And together with these gods, or enlightened masters, you can start working with simple magic. Simple magic is very powerful. It's an imprint which will write itself over any more chaotic energy. So before you imprint a symbol on anything, you should be aware that it will spread itself, it will duplicate itself. And try to limit its spread, its range. Because if you upset things, the universe will protect itself and some very unfortunate things might happen to you or whoever or whatever is carrying that symbol. So symbol is a great power if created in the right way. eternal energy source. So feel the different levels of vibration of the symbol. And try to hold on to this vision, to this knowledge. As you go back accept again your mission as a human being and allow yourself to be pushed down and down and further down back into your body again but now with the knowledge of the symbol within you waiting to be expressed mm whichever way your body is most suitable for doing so. Feel it moving and flowing through you. Feel yourself bond with it. How it becomes a pattern you can manifest. like accepting a new organ in your energy body. I hope that this experience will help you in uh, reading symbols and finding them yourself. Finding symbols, mastering symbols, is also a very important step to mastery of any, any energy source, any healing energies. Because only if you start to understand the essence of something can you learn to master it. And there can be no mastery without understanding of symbols.